It's Off Girl with Doug and Stacy, and we're going to make some fabulous kimchi today. Kimchi is all the rage right now, and I love it. I make it all the time. During this time of the year, I try to make so much that it'll get me through to the next year. And kimchi is great. It's a, a great alternative if you're trying to get probiotic-rich food into your diet. And probiotics are very beneficial. We need them for our gut bacteria because... In this day and age, more people have more of the bad bacteria than the good, and by adding fermented foods, we're gonna kinda of level that off and get the good and the bad where they work together. And it's good to vary your type of ferments. So let's say you're only drinking kombucha or you're having yogurt. You know, those are different types of fermented foods. We want different types because we're getting different strains of bacteria. We're gonna do a simple, easy recipe that anybody can do. So let's get started. See how easy that was? So, so simple. All you do after about 10 days or so, you can go seven, 10, 14 days. If you get to that point and you wanna see how it tastes, go ahead and open it and you can taste it. And here's one that I've already done. And this one I let set for 14 days and it just depends if you want yours to have a little bit more of a zing, you know, more of a kind of a soury taste. The longer it goes, a lot of times with a cabbage, it always does taste better. But you can use red cabbage if you want. You can use white cabbage if you want. Um, Napa cabbage. Traditionally, Napa cabbage is what they use. I just use whatever cabbage I have. And it tastes great. And I like to use this as a condiment. And remember, a lot of you might like it and you might want to eat the whole thing. Don't eat the whole thing. When you do ferments, a couple tablespoons is all you need. And remember, a lot of you might like it and you might want to eat the whole thing. Don't eat the whole thing. When you do ferments, a couple tablespoons is all you need and that way you'll get a little dose of fermented foods in your diet every single day. Mmm, it's my favorite. 
And all you need to do is once it's done fermenting your 7, 10, 14 days or so, is take this off and then you want to replace it with a flat. And then you just put that on top like that. And it's going to last months and months and months. But you'll eat it way before then. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the house, in a, in a little dark area back um, on our shelves. And then I will check it in another week or two, 10 days, and then we'll see if it's ready to go. I'll have another yummy kimchi. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and I'll see you guys later. Happy fermenting. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.